Well, I'm sure that some of you may be frightened right now. You're thinking about sickness, the coronavirus, the economy, schools. It can all seem overwhelming, but God is on our side and he will never let us down. John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give it to you as the world gives, so do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. And then Matthew 6, 34 says, Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Let's take life one day at a time right now, trusting God, and He will give us direction, and we will get through this, and it will come to pass. It will end, and I believe that it's going to end well, and I believe that God is going to get good out of this by using it as a time for unsaved people to come into the kingdom. 2 Timothy 1.7 says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he gives us power, love, and a spirit of self-discipline. Deuteronomy 31, 6 says, Be strong and courageous, and do not be afraid or terrified. Because of your enemies, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, you know, I'm not going to tell you that you may not have any inconveniences because I think we're all going to experience some of that. But to be honest, we are so blessed, and we need to keep our eyes on how blessed we are, and let's, let's not even complain about the inconveniences, but thank God for what we do have. This is a great time to be reaching out to other people and helping them, especially people who have needs that are greater your, than your own. And we're praying and believing that God is going to work all this out for his good and for yours. And we want you to know that we love you and we are praying for you on a regular basis. We're all in this together. And we're all going to come out victorious together.